very good day to you uh, distinguished viewers from wherever you're watching us i welcome you to Vero tv and my name is Apple Vero henry of course uh, today we are in uh, Saple and the uh, sitting uh, right beside me is a former interim president of Oborne community in Saple local government we're talking about none other than mr philip mebrado so there goes sir. Yeah, I do, yeah, I do. how are you yes sir uh, uh, it's actually nice meeting you again sir uh, my pleasure uh let's let's go straight down to business now okay. Ubure election is just a few days away on the 2nd of december 2023 a new uh, cdc committee we elected yeah. uh, into Ubure community and we know that you were a former interim uh, president and uh, with the position now zoned the presidency now zoned to Udume Bako quarters one of the four quarters of Ubure which quarter. you come from sir yes so many persons have been asking uh, it's a uh, Philip Mebrado in the race. The five screen uh, 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 names on the ballot, your name is Mrs. Uh. Why did you decide not to contest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Um, I decided not to contest. The reason is because uh, now I am a senior citizen. <laughs> so, uh, categorically, I am among the elders of the community. Uh, for this proof that I don't reside in the in the community it does not take me away from the group of elders and uh, also I am one person who feels that uh, the younger group should be given opportunity to prove their mettle yes, in leadership and in administration oh. and I, I made it uh, known to my team during the e time when we were there to to write the constitution of the community to amend it. I told them uh, they're going to come uh, again and I'm not going to participate in the, in the contest. I should have been a senior citizen. At over 60, you should guide the younger ones strong in the right way. So uh, if you didn't find my name among the contestants, uh, that is why they did not see me. Actually, a whole lot of people came talking to me. Uh, you, are, you are needed in the community. And I said to them, there is no monopoly of knowledge. We have quite a lot of young people who can run uh, very well in that office. Well, wow. quite a juicy position, but you decided to uh, not participate. Now, sir, let's let's talk the the, the aspirants. Uh, there are five persons vying for presidency. There is a uh, Daniel Kwisaga. There is a uh, Robinson Akomeme. There is Godin Emmanuel. There is a uh, Awe Afred. There is a Anamiruge, a Pius. Yeah. Having uh, from your assessment, sir, assuming the antecedents of these five persons, sir, how have you been able to uh, uh, assess them and uh, you know uh, uh, their candidature and what they will bring to Ubure? Uh, it is difficult to actually write a testimonial about people until they have performed. So, yes, but. Um, I, I know quite a number of them. Sedentarily, two among them, Daniel and the Robinson, they were part of my internal committee when we were writing the constitution. Wow. Yeah, they were part of the internal committee. And they were really quite uh, quite active. And then um, Emmanuel is here there. I have uh, also known him. And uh, he's, he's expressing competence. Yes, and uh, Alfred Awe has been known so much in the Bohem. He was, uh, he is still, the president of concerned Ugorian citizens. So if now he's expressing his concern to lead, he's quite welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. then Pius uh, and Emeruge, I can't really say much about him, but uh, he had thrown up himself for, for contest. So for me, uh, they are all citizens of Ugorian and they are qualified. And uh, if they have a body to want to uh, assist in the development of the community because the office they are going for yes. is President Uboran Community mm -hmm. Development Committee. Exactly, sir. <laughs> so uh, if they if they are aware of that office, community development. So if they have that body and they want to come forward to come to assist in the development of the of the community, well then let, let all of them go to the to the rig. Uh, eventually. Someone will emerge among them. Yes, sir. 
but that a number of them five express interest i'm really quite excited about it yes yes it, it shows that uh, a whole lot of uh, Udumegbako uh, men or young people are interested in the development of Udore. Wow. Yeah. This, this, this is actually true because we, we've not seen such numbers before yeah, uh, yeah. on Udore. We only yeah. see people stepping down, stepping down. But it seems now everybody, they are really uh, interested in that exalted uh, uh, position. Of course, a position of service, not for Position merriment. of service, not yes. For <laughs> that, that is what people really need to know. Yes. That coming to take a position in the community is a call for service. Yes. And when we are crafting the constitution amendment, I made a note to my community member that we will craft this constitution for our community in such a way that if anyone is coming, he's coming to serve, exactly. not to amass words. Because the, the constitution in every line of it will not give room to somebody other than to serve the people. If you do otherwise, you will be faulting the constitution in so many ways. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're talking about being faulty, sir. Let's talk the electoral committee now because uh, much of the work is being vested in this body, sir. How they conduct the election. Oh, of your message to the electoral committee in terms of then uh, carrying out a free, fair, and credible election. Yeah, uh, to the Electoral Committee, uh, I commend them for accepting to work in that role. It is quite a daunting task for any group who have, who have chosen to. And it's also a responsibility that we either uh, increase their reputation and dignity in the community or might. Because uh, if they carry out the process uh, in a way that is not transparent and that is uh, hanky-packy, eh? like uh, so many elections that lead to litigation are done, then they haven't done well. Yeah. But um, I have quite a lot of confidence in the chairman of the electoral committee, the person of uh, Okako uh, Godwin. Mamu Riyami had to see. Oh. He is an Okako of, uh, of Ope. And uh, for him to have accepted that role, number one, uh, he must be able to do uh, elections such that we bring about peace in the community. So he should be able, him and his team, do an election that should be free, fair, and credible. And also to be seen as free, fair, and, and credible. They are, they are jobbing as much as the job is tasking. The job is also quite easy because um, when we crafted this constitution, the constitution uh, made provision for election. So the electoral provision are all in there as an anesthesia. And if he can follow the guideline of it yeah. thoroughly to the letter, he will have no problem. He will deliver a very free, fair, and credible election. In, in the Electoral Act, it states that um, the, none of them in the Electoral Committee should be biased exactly. or have interest in any candidate. So they need to do the election in such a way that there will be no conflict of interest on their parts. So if they follow the process, the process are quite clear. Uh, by now, I expect that uh, the voter register should be ready and every eligible voter should have their card to go to the poll. And so on that day, they come for accreditation yeah. and uh, they vote. And I will also hope that people are not going to be, be defranchised. Yes. Yes. Qualified persons are not going to be the franchise, and he needs to work uh, clearly on that. Uh, during the time uh, we were in government in Boren, uh, I made it emphatically clear that it's essential that every adult, both male and female, have the right to vote. Yes. Because in our constitution, it says that our daughters can contest for some offices. 
So if the constitution make provision for them to be able to hold office, so women should also be allowed to choose who leads the community. They should be allowed to vote. And during that period when we took the matter to the Oroje in council, the Oroje actually told us, the Oroje people, that women should vote. That was why that year when we were doing voters' registration, both male and female registered to vote. And I would expect that every eligible uh, person, citizen of Ubore, should be given the opportunity to exercise their franchise on who governs Ubore community. Any, any final word for the voters? Okay, uh, my word for Ubore community, as they have always known me, I, I sue for peace. Peaceful coexistence and brotherliness. The entire community is interwoven. Yeah. You are either related to somebody by blood or you are related to the person by in lordship. So there are virtually no strangers among Ubohan people. And I do not see uh, any reason why people of the same kindred or same knowledge should go at a uh, uh, dagger drawn because of who is going to lead the community. Mm -hmm. So my first word to the contestants, they should see it as sportsmanship. Everyone who is contesting must not, must not win. It is not a do or die. So somebody needs to emerge. And then to the electorate, the electorate they should show violence. This is this is our home, it's our community. Of course. So you should show violence. The, the, the polls should be conducted peacefully. And let everyone exercise their franchise. And then the results collated and winner announced. And then winners should be happy. Those who have not won at this time should be able to embrace. And then they put head together and, uh, and let the community move forward. So, I would um, tell the elders council, who are the highest authority of the community, as provided by the constitution, yes, to ensure that both the youth and the women have a peaceful conduct of, of election come the second of Saturday, such that by third, people should be seen going about their works and activity without let or hindrance. There should be peace, no matter what. Thank you very much, sir. There should be peace, no matter what. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have been speaking to uh, Mr. Philip Mebradu, uh, a one-time interim president of Ogbora community. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. Thank you. We, we, have, to, we have to speak to you after the, the, the election and also... Uh, uh, we hope to see that our uh, election is peaceful and everybody goes about their businesses you know, peacefully. Thank you. I, I hope you go there <laughs> as an independent observer. Oh, of course I will. <laughs> <laughs> of course I will. Of course I will. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Akbarero Henry, of course. And this is Shreya TV. <laughs>